Robert Mueller releases his report on whether President Trump and company collaborated with Russia and lead people shocked as all new viral starts right now. to an all new edition of Viral. I'm your host as always, KG, here on Viral. Glad you're here. Join in the conversation using the hashtag Viral here on Connect. Glad you're here. Let's get started with the Mueller report. As all you know that Robert Mueller, who was special counsel, did an ongoing investigation on whether or not the Trump campaign from 2016 was in collusion with Russia. And many thought that it was going to soon happen, and it didn't. So let's take a scroll back memory lane on how all this came unfold. Watch this. Uh, yeah, we're just coming in from the, uh, the press pool that's traveling with the president in Florida. This is uh, from Sarah Sanders, and it says, quote, the special counsel did not find any collusion and did not find any obstruction. Attorney General Barr and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein further determined there was no obstruction. The findings of the Department of Justice are a total and complete exoneration of the president of the United States. Uh, not surprised that that's the reaction coming in from the White House right now. This is a day that could very well shake the rest of Donald Trump's presidency here in this White House. Uh, this has been a cloud hanging over this administration for 22 months, every single day just about. We heard Donald Trump, President Trump, talk about witch hunt, no collusion. He said just as recently as Friday, no obstruction. This will probably uh, have them, frankly, cheering here uh, when they come back from Mar-a-Lago later today. And, and we also know, George, that this is something that is going to really shape the battle for 2020. This is going to be a huge point going forward. And the RNC is already weighing in, echoing what we just heard from the White House, saying no collusion. And they go on to quote a, a who's who of Democrats and all the comments that they've made about uh, Robert Mueller over the last two years, everyone from Maxine Waters to Bernie Sanders. And they say they guaranteed us that special counsel Mueller would find pr proof of it, of no collusion. They were wrong. On ABC, the president was not found guilty on no collusion. He's been staying it for so long. He kept, you know, repeating himself over and over again. But when it finally came out, the conclusion of it, here's what the president had to say. Watch this. Long investigation. After so many people have been so badly hurt. After not looking at the other side. A lot of bad things happened, a lot of horrible things happened, a lot of very bad things happened for our country. It was just announced there was no collusion with Russia, the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. There was no collusion with Russia. There was no obstruction and none whatsoever. And it was a complete and total exoneration. It's a shame that our country had to go through this. To be honest, it's a shame that your president has had to go through this for before I even got elected. It began. And it began illegally. And hopefully somebody's going to look at the other side. This was an illegal takedown that failed. And hopefully somebody's going to be looking at the other side. So it's complete exoneration, no collusion, no obstruction. Thank you very much. Thank you. The president keeps saying that it was no collusion and he was totally exonerated. Well, that didn't stop there as both major parties had something to say. Let's hear what Representative Jim Jordan from the Oversight Committee had to say about the president. Watch this. The fact that there are no new indictments is not necessarily vindication for the president. You agree? Well, we got to read the report, but what I do know is to date, not one bit of evidence to show any type of coordination, collusion, conspiracy between the Trump campaign. Uh, and Russia to influence the election. And that was the charge, George, when this thing started almost two years ago. The Democrats were all saying that the president of the United States worked with a hostile foreign country to 
steal the election. And again, there has not been one bit of evidence to suggest that any of that happened. You saw right there, Jim Jordan, a uh, supporter of President Trump, claiming that the president's innocence and stuff like that. That didn't end there as another ranking member from the Democratic Party, Representative um, Jordan Adam Schiff, yeah, disputed whether or not Trump, it was still some collusion in some way or form, some evidence. And let's hear what Jordan Schiff had to say. Chronicle on Friday. If there's no bombshell, there's no impeachment. Does no new indictments qualify as no bombshell? Uh, not necessarily, because again, George, as you pointed out, they can't indict the president. Uh, that's their policy. And therefore, there could be overwhelming evidence on the obstruction issue. And I don't know that that's the case. But if there were overwhelming evidence uh, of criminality on the president's part, then the Congress would need to consider uh, that remedy if indictment is foreclosed. So it's really too early to make those judgments. Uh, we need to see the, the report. And then I think we'll all have a factual basis to discuss what does this mean for the American people? What risks are we running with this president? Uh, what steps does Congress need to take to protect the country? Uh, but in the absence of those facts, those judgments are impossible to make. All right. You saw right there. Well, Ron Schiff was kind of being mum about it, but he didn't even speak upon it. Well, he had some of the presidential candidates who going against Trump had something to say. Even Senator Christian Jim Band called Trump this. The Mueller report must be made public. All of it. Nobody in this country, not even the president, is above the law or immune from accountability. It is not often that I agree with Richard Nixon, but he was right to say that the American people have a right to know whether their president is a crook. Yeah, she called tr Trump a crook, like how Dick um, tr Nixon was, how he used to say that he's not a crook. Well, they ain't in there as Senator Bernie Sanders said this on his little tweet on reading a statement. And I quote, he wants to see the whole damn report. And a lot of people are still saying that Attorney General Aaron Barr should go on ahead and release the full report than just giving us a brief synopsis of the report and um, give him his pick that Trump was not found guilty. And um, Kamal Harris had this to say. She tweeted out this that the Attorney General should release the report. Well, that didn't end there as former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie spoke on the terms on whether or not Trump got away. Take a look. You know Robert Mueller uh, fairly well. The other question is, how would he lay out these arguments in a report? I think the way he's conducted himself over the last 22 months gives you a really good indication of how he's going to lay it out, which is going to be carefully and like a traditional prosecutor. He is not going to pull a Jim Comey here. He is not going to go out. Well, he already hasn't done that. He hasn't seen the press. Well, that's what, but I mean, now the report is or the ultimate Star. thing. Or a well, Ken, or Ken Star. Star, for sure. I mean, I think it's either one of those. I, and I think that, you know, I think it is, as Donna said, a, a tribute to, to Bob Mueller. I've been saying all along, as you know, on this show that he's a professional and he cares about the justice system and the and prosecution that he's going to bring. We're going to be ones that he believes he could prove beyond a reasonable doubt, nothing more. But here's the second part, and I think I'm glad Matt brought up Ken Starr. Remember what this special counsel statute is in response to. It's in response to the Ken Starr report. Congress said they didn't like what Starr did in laying out all that detail against people that were never going to be charged with a crime, and they made all of this Absolutely dependent now upon the discretion of the attorney general. The attorney general gets doesn't to prohibit decide. anything from no, but, 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 right. but it gives him discretion, George, and that's really important. And and Bill Barr made that clear in his confirmation. Well, that's here. When Chris Christie sticking by his guns and saying that Trump found a way and found a way high. Well, that's been viral for this week on the Trump the Mueller report, or you can call it the Trump report, that Trump was not found guilty. And, um, what this is lead to his 2020 campaign that he can now focus on and possibly try to get reelected. We'll see upon them statements and stuff like that.
But could someone challenge that down the road? Who knows? Not me to say, not you, you to find out. All right. Thank you all for watching, Val. I've been Kenny Dick saying so long. See you next time. Thank you.